Whatever Happened to Beth Howland? Vera Gorman from TV's Alice. Beth Howland was born Elizabeth Howland on May 28, 1939, in Brighton. Beth Howland moved to New York City at the age of 16 with a friend, who was a dancer. After graduating from high school, Beth Howland came to New York City with acting aspirations. She experienced her share of struggles in the early years of her career but eventually landed the role of Lady Beth in an off-Broadway production of Carol Burnett's musical Once Upon a Mattress. The play opened on May 11, 1959, and proved to be a success. Later that year, it had its Broadway premiere at the Alvin Theatre and went on to be staged on other Broadway theaters as well. Once Upon a Mattress also marked Howland's Broadway debut. In the ensuing years, she also acted in musicals like Hugh Martin and Timothy Gray's High Spirits, and Nunnally Johnson's Darling of the Day. Despite the fact that she was active in the industry for 43 years, Howland appeared in only two films, and both of those appearances were uncredited. She had her screen debut in the 1959 musical film Lil Abner, portraying Clem's wife. Later, Howland made her final cinematic appearance in the 1974 crime drama film Thunderbolt and Lightfoot, in which she played the vault master's wife. Howland debuted on the small screen in the telefilm The Ted Bessel Show in 1973. Also starring Ted Bessel, Robert Walden, and Barra Grant, the film revolves around a magazine publisher who desperately tries to prevent the dissolution of his marriage as well as his magazine. In the season 5 premiere, 1975, of CBS detective television series Canon, she portrayed a secretary. That year, she also made guest appearances in two other shows, ABC's police procedural drama The Rookies and CBS drama series Bronk. Between 1972 and 1975, Howland appeared in two episodes of the CBS sitcom The Mary Tyler Moore Show, portraying two different characters. In 1979, she was cast as Essie Carmichael in the 1979 television adaptation of George S. Kaufman and Moss Hart's comedy You Can't Take It With You. In 1980, she played a stripper in the HBO film The Wild Wacky Wonderful World of Winter. Howland portrayed four different characters, Lee Noble, Eloise Farnsworth, Jeannie Davis, and Captain Bernice Tobin in six episodes of ABC's comedy drama series The Love Boat. In CBS sitcom Alice, which aired from August 31, 1976, to March 19, 1985, Howland played the neurotic and scatter-brained Vera Louise Gorman. Besides the series protagonist Alice, Vera is the only original waitress who remains employed at the diner throughout the show's nine-season run. Howland was nominated for four Golden Globes, 1980-83, for her performance in the show but never won one. In later years, she appeared in TV shows like Comedy Factory, Murder, She Wrote, and Sabrina, The Teenage Witch. Her last screen appearance was in a 2002 episode of Fox's short-lived show The Tick. She married two times in his lifetime and had only daughter, Holly Pollock. Sadly. Since Beth Howland was a teenager, she had been smoking cigarettes. She quit smoking in the 2000s but was diagnosed with lung cancer. Howland passed away on December 31, 2015, after a long battle with the disease. Sadly, on December 31, 2015, Beth Howland passed away of lung cancer in California. She was 76 years old. Goodbye Beth Howland.